hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Asira. today's video i'm going to show you guys everything i crocheted in the last month okay we're going to start with this shirt this shirt took me about half a day um working on and off i made the sleeves a little long to go over my hands like this i used the lion brand skin tones this is the color honey and then this is the color almond Next, I'm going to show you guys a similar shirt that I made. This one is a super crop top. So it cuts like, it starts up here and stops about like right here. I think it's called like a bolero or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. I made the sleeves super long like this one. And then I also made a matching bandana to go with it. Oh, I'm also wearing one of my bandanas now. So, this one is my favorite. I love the little pattern on it. If I can get it to focus. Next, I'm going to show you guys a couple of the very first tops that I made. Like, um, I used acrylic. I probably won't really use acrylic that much to make clothes anymore. But these were the very first ones I made. Got this blue one. I probably have some pictures of me wearing some of these items, so I'll insert them. But it goes like this. And I put a little tie right here so that, you know, the boobs would be covered a little bit more. And then the back has this little crisscross. Um, I've noticed that okay this is super saver i noticed that some colors are really like rough and stiff and then some colors are really soft this is one of the colors that is kind of a little bit rough um the next top i made was this red one and i was going for more of like a bikini top something that i could wear outside and like get some sun on my chest and not leave too much of a tan mark. And then the back is similar to the other one, but thinner. This next one I made, I was kind of trying to, I was trying to cover up the boobies and make it like just straight across, but I wound up making it just a little bit too, um, it's a little too tight. I might just have to make the straps a little longer, but. This one right here. One of the next things that I made, I made something for my daughter. She's one, so she's pretty tiny. It's just a little, a little tank top. And I added these little tiny flowers on the bottom. I believe this is the mandala yarn that I used for this. Excuse me. <laughs> this is one of my little favorite items. It's just a little, I don't typically wear accessories besides like, you know, like earrings and necklaces. I don't typically wear like clothing accessories, but I thought this is really cute. Like I can just pop it on like when I'm wearing like a little t-shirt or like a flare shirt. It's basically like a little uh, underbust corset thing. I have this tie right here. Um, if I do decide to sell this type of vest or whatever, I'll probably make these straps longer so that way they'll stay connected even when you take it off. Ooh, this one's my favorite. I made a teeny bikini, I'm gonna call it. I think the tutorial called it a cheeky bikini. I'll link the tutorial that I used for this one down below. But this is the back. It's like a little thong. And this is the front. I believe I made the bottoms in a size large to fit my booty. And I made this top in a medium. It's kind of hard to work <laughs> with my outfit with my nails because they keep sticking to it. But, you know... This is what this is and like you can bring it closer together or farther apart you can make it scrunched or whatever 
and uh oh i actually recently saw this tutorial on uh tiktok uh this girl was showing different ways to wear like her bikini tops i might have to try that out because i could wear this like three or four different ways that she showed me um oh yeah i started oh i'm using the lion brand nubu yarn because that yarn is really good with like being in water and like drying quickly and stuff. I also made this pair in the color coral, I think. I really, really love this color. I need to make a top to match. I made this one to be a little bit more of cover, but I think I need to make a bigger pair because I don't know if this is really gonna <laughs> cover much. I was working on this skirt to be like a cover up for a bikini or whatever. I think it was, I, I'm not finished with it. I've been working on this on and off for like two weeks. <laughs> it's getting tiring because the yarn, like it's so, so skinny, look, so little. I'm using the True Boo yarn. I really like it and it feels so good. I was thinking about maybe just leaving it at this length, you know? and just you know show on my show not really being a cover-up but just being like i guess just decoration to go on my body i don't know well when i style it i'll let you guys see um next i made these water bottle bags this one is a standard size to hold like any regular water bottle this one is to hold my 32 ounce water bottle from Simple Living. I love this color so much. I made some bandanas to match it actually. I've made three bandanas. I have one hanging up in my room and then I have these two right here. I still have the weave in the ends, but. And I also made <laughs> this bucket hat. I mean, I can't put it on right now because my hair, but I made this hat to go with. Oh, to match, to match what I'm wearing now on my head, my bandana. I made this tube top. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of me wearing this because I love it so much. Look at this material. Oh my goodness. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. But yeah, I love this top, love this top. I made two beanies. I made, hmm, what do I call them? I made, <laughs> I made my baby daddy one in this gray color. And then I made this one right here in black and gray. And I love this so much. It's so comfortable and it feels so good. It's nice and stretchy. And it was like my, it's my first, one of my first hats. And you can see like the design, like it's ribbed. That is so cool. I made this little bag. I don't know what I want to use it for, but I just thought it was cute. I used it, I made a, uh, hmm. I used some leftover yarn that I had after I made that hat, another hat, and something else. And so I just, you know, used the yarn to make this cute little bag. And right now I'm using it to store other little things that I made. Um, in here I have some makeup remover. Uh, I have makeup remover wipes in here that I've made. And this is the bag that you would like throw in the washing machine. The bag and the pads are all made of cotton. Inside of this bag, I just have the standard wipes that I would sell. They're just regular white and round. I have to weave in the ends, but they're just regular white and round, 100% cotton. You know? And then In this bag, I was testing some design. I'm still trying to find some different shapes, but this is also 100% cotton. It's just colorful. 
I have these colorful makeup remover pads, but then I also have these heart-shaped ones. And I have another one in a different color. So I know you can just... I mean, I have on a little bit of makeup right now, so I don't want to... I have on a little bit of makeup right now, so I don't want to like rub it on my face. But you know, you get the gist. Like they're about this size, you know. You just take your makeup off. Um, I know I use pads to put my toner on. I know some people like to use their fingers. I prefer to use like makeup pads. So you can know you can use that for your toner or whatever. I would probably use the white ones for my toner and then the colorful ones for makeup removal. Last night, I was wanting to take a break from like crocheting anything that was gonna take a couple hours. So, uh, I wa what was I watching? I think I was watching Legacies. You know, <laughs> the show that comes after the originals, which comes after Vampire Diaries. But anyway, I made these little bags to hold my crochet hooks. And it has like a little hook so I can hang it up on my, um, I have an Ikea pegboard in my room where I have like some of my art stuff and then like some of my beauty supplies or whatever. This one right here is my favorite, this blue and pink one. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love these hooks. Look, they're like fairy wings or whatever, or butterfly wings. They're so pretty. All right, but yeah, that's everything that I've crocheted in the last month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to see what other videos I have coming out. I'll have some tutorials and some crochet with me's, and I would love for you guys to see it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.